Hello, my name is Apostolos Alexiadis. Uh, I'm working as a TCE officer at the Hellenic National Agency for Erasmus Plus Youth, uh, Sports and European Solidarity Corps called INEDIDIM. It is located in Athens, in the capital of Greece. Uh, I worked there as a TCE officer since December of 2019, just before COVID break out. Uh, my studies are at electrical engineering and I also have worked as a web developer for about a year. Uh, this is why I'm very curious and interesting in digital transformation. My generation, my country, uh, grew up in uh, a lot of crises. We have economical crisis, immigration crisis. So uh, we have learned that each crisis is a challenge, and this challenge is an opportunity uh, for, to make us stronger and uh, to become better. So uh, when a COVID crisis broke out, uh, we found that it's, we should do something meaningful for our beneficiaries, stakeholders, and especially for young people with your opportunities to support them as they are like volunteers or they, have, they were very stressed about this situ corona situation. So we have uh, act immediately and we have like some webinars and some uh, Zoom meetings with them, to support them, to answer to their questions, to for reflect about the situation. So we found out that, okay, those four days Zoom meetings uh, with the support of our, of our national pool of trainers, so that was very important after all, uh, was okay, but we received a feedback uh, from the participants that we should do something that is more quali high of quality. So then we learned about a platform based on Moodle called HOP. And then we uh, moved a lot, transferred a lot of our activities there online uh, using uh, blended, online blending methodologies like asynchronous and synchronous learning. So we have like more than 10, 20 activities there online. And most of them are now open, self self-paced. And we have more like 200 people in each of them as participants. There is a space that uh, people, participants, uh, young people, beneficiaries, stakeholders, or potential beneficiaries can join for free, register for free, totally. They can learn by their own pace. Uh, they can reuse the content, interact with other participants, with other beneficiaries as well, discuss about different topics they are interested in, find new partners. So we really think that those uh, courses there are now reusable, are uh, extensible, and uh, they, they are really meaningful and useful for the participants. I remember that in 2020, just when COVID broke out, it was planned to take place in Greece uh, Value Fair, the second edition of Value Fair. It will be. It was supposed to be a very big uh, conference uh, regarding five uh, core values like equity, solidarity, participation, empathy, of course. But uh, as it is normal, because of COVID, it, it was not, uh, we, we couldn't do it residentially. So we had to find another way, another meaningful way. Uh, so we decided together with the trainers to, and this, with the support of the Hellenic National Agency, of course, uh, to uh, do, to add some online and offline elements on this course. So we had like a space, an online space, that we gather all information and for the forums, the feedback from participants. We used also applications like Zoom for meetings, uh, like four meetings in, in a period of four or five months. And then we have also the offline element, which is the creational, the co-creational of an educational tool. It, uh, they are the car, uh, value fair cards, the value fair decks, that are consisted of 100 cards. And uh, they were made by participants for youth workers and young people. 
So it was like a participatory approach uh, where uh, young people and youth workers that are participants on this course, they voted for their best categories, five categories, and then they created the content of each card. And then they translated into 13 languages, including Greek, English, German, French, uh, Italian, Spanish, and so on. So this tech, we actually printed them and we also sent them by post, two copies of them. And we now have it also uh, in uh, online format, so everybody can join to the course and uh, download for free and use it also uh, with uh, the participants and young people. The, the, the nice thing about this uh, game is it has no rules, so young people have to uh, create their own rules depending on the youth workers, depending on their needs, their actual needs. Regarding challenges in uh, digital transformation in youth field, of course, uh, a lot of youth workers do not know how to use like digital tools or how they can uh, transfer a residential activity into an online environment. It's a very uh, easy process if you know the way. Of, of course, it needs funding and it needs, like, for example, to buy some tools maybe or find the proper spaces to do that. Uh, one major challenge we see is that we're struggling uh, to uh, find our uh, participants because uh, most of the participants are not interested in uh, online learning uh, or they don't, are, they don't have access to online tools or they don't have the education of that. So this is a problem that we're trying to tackle through several courses like train the trainers, digital transformation for youth workers, and the other activities. We're trying to, to educate youth workers, trainers, and even young people how to use digital tools, how to, uh, to make digital transformation uh, a reality for their uh, ordinary life. There is no deny that digital transformation has a lot of benefits. Uh, it has a lot of pros and cons, of course, as everything. But I, we feel that uh, we believe that uh, the pros are more than the cons. So we feel that youth work can also uh, be uh, accessible to people, young people with, uh, from rural areas, for example, that has no opportunities of traveling. So they can join online courses, uh, have uh, virtual exchanges as well. It's a very good opportunity or to learn, to have access to learning and uh, of course to express their opinion on different topics. This, after all, we are in the European Year of Youth, where uh, the opinion of young people matters. So if I needed to choose a topic regarding the digital transformation that is closest to my heart, I would pick participation, uh, youth participation, uh, because um, I feel that through uh, digital transformation, uh, young people, especially young people with fewer opportunities, can uh, develop their uh, European values, uh, their European uh, identity, and their European way of thinking, which is very important.